Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh, is this mine? Coffee time. Chris is just taking the kids to school and I did my Heather Robertson workout. I'm on week three, I've just, just done it day two now and I feel really, really good about it. So I just have, let me show you, my bikini on because we are gonna go down to the beach now and we're going to go paddle boarding. It is such a beautiful day. It's going to be like 17, 19 degrees today, which is amazing. Apparently it's gonna be like the hottest day in March for since like 40 years or something like that. Um, got a brand new spot, sorry about that. Anyway, when I was putting my bikini on this morning, I found a few extra puffs of fat that definitely <laughs> weren't there last year. My bikini bottoms, you know when like you put the bottoms on and then like your fat kind of spills over the edge? It's doing that quite a lot. So um, yeah, I feel a little bit gutted about that. But hopefully this Heather Robertson will sort me out. Do you wanna go out? So Chris has just walked to school with the boys and also taken Lulu for a little walk. Oh, look at her. She's now sunbathing. You sunbathing? Is that nice? We've got builders next door. Um, next door was just like the original bungalow and um, someone bought it a little while ago and they are renovating it all, put an extension on and things like that. So today we have our shipping container arriving as well. Our shipping container is like eight foot by 20 foot, I think, or 10 foot by 20 foot, I can't quite remember. And it has to house the whole contents of our house in there while they do the renovation work. So when we do our work, lots of you keep asking if we're gonna stay in our house or move out. We have to move out because we're having nothing here. So when you come into our house, you'll look up and you'll just see the sky. There's literally going to be absolutely nothing in our home except the four walls, like four exterior walls, and that's it. No windows, no doors, nothing. So we have to move out and then obviously we can't even have one room to keep all our stuff in it. So everything has to go into a shipping container to store it while they do the work. So that's arriving this afternoon, which is really exciting because it means the work is about to start on our home. Um, but this morning we're gonna go down to the beach because it's such a nice day and we're gonna go paddle boarding. And then I think we're gonna go back down to the beach a little bit later this evening. So let's go down to the seafront. I love this. People come down to the beach and they just have their boards out here. I love it. Yeah, there's a little guy. Oh, it's just so nice here. So we live about 10 minutes drive from the beach and it's just really nice that we can pop down here whenever we fancy it. It's just so peaceful here. We always say if we were still living in Essex, what would we be doing like today? I think we'd be sitting on our patio, probably drinking some coffee, maybe go for a walk at our local like country park, but you just can't compare it to this. Like this is just amazing. It's just honestly, so nice. I keep thinking the sea air might improve my spots, but ah, this is so sore today. So, so painful. <clears throat> Chris is just prepping the board. I never pump it up, it's always just his job. So, yeah, I just like to sit, sea gaze, and watch him pump up the board. <laughs> So we have just got back from the beach. I completely forgot to film anything while I was there. Went out on the paddleboard, it was lovely. I took the GoPro down to even film while I was on the paddleboard, but I completely forgot. Didn't fall in today, <laughs> so that was quite good. But yeah, um, it was just so nice. I feel so lucky that we live so close to the seaside. Um, and yeah, when we were down there, like there were so many people out on their paddleboards. There were loads of kind of like teenagers, I'd say probably like 15, 16, in like groups of friends who were going out on the water together, like as a sporting activity. And I was just thinking like, I said to Chris, I really hope our boys do that when they're older because I think I think it's so nice for them to be able to meet up with their friends and do like an activity like that rather than just sort of hanging around places. I think that's one of my biggest fears for the boys when they're older, they're just gonna like hang around and get into trouble and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and sort myself out now because I'm gonna do my hair. I bought um, some items, like some clothes from Warehouse and I want to do a little try on haul for you guys. It's gonna be on my Instagram um, and I'm just gonna show you what I have bought and how I'm gonna put everything together as well. So I'm just gonna quickly get dressed and then um, we're gonna have for lunch a, um, what's it called? Noki, here's all my stuff. It's like um, a like roasted vegetable noki bake. Thing. So um, I'm gonna do this on Instagram as well. This is gonna be one of my meals this week on Instagram. It's gonna be on tomorrow night when this video comes out. So I'm just gonna quickly go and sort my hairstyle out. I don't think I can do anything about these spots to be honest. 
Ah, oh, they are so painful. And then our container should be arriving really, really soon. Right, I've just um, <laughs> spruced up my hair and I've got myself ready to do my warehouse haul. So I thought I'd show you the first things that I got from her. So I've got this jumper. This belt is a belt I've already got. It's from ASOS ages ago. And then I got these like, these are kind of like work trousers, but you can like dress them up or down. So basically I'm gonna do two reels. One is going to be showing how you take items from like day to night or dress them up and down. And the other one is just gonna show you guys what I got when I shopped in warehouse. I'm gonna go and film it now. Bye. No of course just arrived at our house. This is our shipping container. It's going to have the whole of our home contents in here while our build is being done. That's 20 foot shipping container. But we've got some wires up there which are proving to be a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. Still got our Christmas lights up as well. So yeah, that's going to go down here on our driveway. And it's in, this looks attractive on the front of our house, but actually it fits so much better than we thought. We thought we'd be right up against the house, but it's not. So we've got some rooms for our bins to be removed, removed, moved around. Wow, we, that's enormous. I'll take you inside. Just carrying Lulu pie, she's a bit scared. This is what our whole house is going to fit into. This is a 20 foot container. So we need to pack it really, really well. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of an adventure, having a shipping container just popped on our drive. It's very exciting. But anyway, because it is such a beautiful day, we are going down to the seafront to go paddleboarding. So our friend Serge and Lena, they also got a paddleboard the other day. So we're meeting up with them down at the beach so the kids can go on one, like our kids can go on our paddleboard and their we're kids can go on their um, paddleboard. They're playing last man standing. The boys have both got their, um, what are they called? What they're called wetsuits. They've both got their wetsuits on, so they're going to go in the water. This is the first time, well, actually, Rory went paddleboarding with um, Chris a little while ago, but this is the first time they would have gone swimming in the sea this year. I'm not going in, but I have got um, like a bikini top underneath so I can do a little bit of sunbathing. It is so nice and warm today, and it's meant to be just like this tomorrow as well, so I'm sure we'll go paddleboarding tomorrow as well. I know I let you down. I made the same. I am the worrying kind, resting my life away. Be here, you know I really want you to stay. Later, when you then go, you will somehow still remain. You know you've got good friends when you turn up to the beach and they've brought you a little bottle of Prosecco. So the boys are out there on the paddle boards and we're having some Prosecco. No glasses, just straight out the bottle. <laughs> that I'd be lost without you will never find myself Patience Let's do the numbers before we judge Someday, all of these mess will 